Hey guys, welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. If you haven't been here before, my name is Ornella Amora. Today I'm going to be talking about my six month post-op BBL update. So before we get into that, I just wanna to talk to you guys about this 30 day detox that I've been doing to cleanse my gut and live a healthier lifestyle and it is called Teeny. So they reached out to me about two weeks ago and asked me if I wanted to work with them. And by the way, guys, this video is not sponsored by Teamy. They did, however, give me a discount code for you guys to get 20% off your order. And I do earn a little bit of commission, but I'm not going to promote a product that I do not believe in. So I told them, sure, send over the products. And if I like it, I'll promote it. If I don't like it, looks like I got free products. I don't care no matter how much subscribers I get on YouTube, how many followers I get on Instagram, I am not promoting something that I do not believe in. And I have been trying Teamy for seven days now and it has been amazing. My stomach feels so much flatter. I feel nice and light. Basically, it's just a cleanse. So it's going to cleanse all the toxins that are in your gut and if you understand the importance of gut health you would understand why i decided to give the 30-day cleanse a try and i would highly 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 recommend teamy and i am only seven days in guys so that says a lot honestly and i got my order within three days which is awesome considering how slow shipping is going right now with covid and all these like amazon packages everybody's getting but yeah i got my order in three days and it has been amazing so far so when the order came in i decided to film the unpackaging of the box so that way you guys can see it so i'm just gonna leave that for you right here real quick so this is my package from teamy blends i just got it i'm really excited so i got the detox starter pack and the baby pink tumbler ready oh my god I didn't know this was gonna come. Okay, so it comes with this cute little silicone bottle brush. Guys, look how freaking cute. Oh my goodness. And it's funny because normally those uh, decorations over here say eat, E-A-T. Um, and this came just in time because I had just changed it to tea. All right, so this is what it looks like. So freaking cute. Let the journey begin. That is so cute. This is what it looks like inside. It's such a cute little gift. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Teamy. All right, so this is a Teamy tumbler. Got it in baby pink. It comes in a lot of different colors. It's got a pop open lid. It's got a leaf strainer that comes with it. It's BPA free, obviously, which is super, super nice. It's got a wrist strap, an outer shell, and a storage compartment, guys. I'm literally reading that off the side. I would have never memorized that. How cute. Oh my goodness, I love it. It's got this pop open lid. Oh wow, that that's like really, it's really good. It's like it seals it pretty well. Got this little wrist thing. This, oh, oh, it's got a little storage compartment. Throw some nuts in there, whatever you wanna do. Some of your tea, oh no, I think you put your tea in there. They give you the Teamy Skinny. So you're supposed to drink a cup of this in the morning. And then they got the Teamy Colon that you're supposed to drink every other night. And I'm assuming this probably flushes you like crazy. So it also comes with this detox calendar that you can keep track of what tea you're having and when you're having it. So the first day you're going to have your skinny tea and then the second you're gonna have your skinny and colon, then your skinny, skinny and colon, and you're supposed to do it for 30 days. And in the back here, it tells you the exact instructions on how to do it. Oh my, so freaking cute. I love it, and it has a little suction. I love, oh, okay, that's, wow. Wow, I didn't know it could stick to a box like that. Okay, so this brush cleaner also comes with a bonus mini brush, which is super awesome. Love it, love this. I thought, I thought maybe it like vibrates or something, because these look like little options. I don't know, I don't know why I would think that. <laughs> you nasty. 
So yeah, guys, I can't wait to start my journey and let you guys know how it's going. All right, so if you guys are interested in buying the 30 day detox from Teeny, I would highly recommend it. Like I said, use my code right over here, Ornella20, and I'm also gonna put it in the description box below along with the link and you will receive 20% off your purchase and I will receive a little commission and it will be a great thing of me helping you help me help you help us live a healthy lifestyle. Anyways, back to my BBL six month post-op update. So here's the thing, I'm in Ontario, okay? It's lockdown what's going on and shit and it just sucks and the gyms are closed and the nail salons are closed and I have press on nails and my press on nails are falling off as you can see. But yeah, everything's closed. So I'm at home and I'm basically a six months post-op, um, almost seven months now. And I know you guys have been asking me for an update. Let me tell you exactly how I'm feeling right now. I've wanted a BBL for a long, long time, like three years. And when I finally decided that I'm actually gonna go through with it, I was about 118 pounds. I had just gone through a breakup and I was a little skinny. So I gained a ton of weight. I gained up to 153 pounds and I am five foot three. Okay, that's, that's a rapid weight gain, okay? And I figured the more weight that I'm gonna gain, the more fat they'll be able to inject in my butt and the more fat of a butt I'm gonna have. Well, the truth of it is, they can only inject as much as your skin can handle. So when they were injecting my butt with my fat as well as my hips, they only filled it so much because my skin is pretty tight. And another thing that I realized too is I didn't just gain weight in my belly and my love handles where they're doing the liposuction in order to put it to my butt. I gained weight all over. So after I got the BBL, yeah, I had a flatter stomach. Yeah, I have like uh, no love handles and it's all in my butt, but I also gained weight in my arms. I also gained weight in my breast. My boobs are freaking huge and don't get me wrong, I love them. I love my boobs, but they're so big that they're actually giving me back problems now and I need to start losing it. And my concern now is losing the fat. Like if I start working out to lose weight, I'm scared that I'm gonna lose my butt too. So honestly, I would recommend to you, if you're getting a BBL and you already have a good amount of fat, I honestly suggest that you don't gain any excess weight purposefully thinking that you're just gonna have a bigger butt because you're gonna gain weight all over and they're not doing liposuction on my arms or my boobs or my double chin. Like they're not doing liposuction everywhere. They are just doing the lipo 360, which is the belly and the love handles. So that's going to get smaller, but the rest of you is gonna get bigger and it's gonna look silly. So here I am, okay, it's locked down. My nails are falling off. I'm freaking picking acne off my face. Uh, I'm stressing, I haven't been tanning. Um, and on top of that, I love my body. I, I love my butt, but I'm not completely like satisfied with how it looks. I will always love my body. I will always, always, always love my body, no matter what I look like. Um, but is it my ideal shape? No, it's not, okay? I love my butt, my surgeon did a great job, but I really, really am starting to regret the weight gain because it gave me fat arms and a double chin and my boobs are so big and it's it's shitty because my back hurts, I ain't gonna lie. And I'm scared, like I said, I'm scared to lose the weight because I'm scared I'm gonna lose it on my butt. So I'm contemplating on honestly getting um, liposuction on my arms and my chin. But I don't know if I wanna spend the money. Like I spent so much money. I spent almost $20,000 on my BBL for everything. Like I'm talking like hotel, food, the BBL itself, everything, like yeah, everything. That's a lot of money, okay? Honestly, like it doesn't matter how much money someone makes, it doesn't mean they wanna spend it. If I had a million dollars to my name, it doesn't mean that I wanna just blow money on myself 
or do I? I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know where I'm going with this. Anyway, my point is, now I feel like I want to get liposuction on my arms and my chin, and that's going to cost probably another 10K. I don't freaking know how much it's going to cost because I just booked my consultation for that, and it, I should be having my consultation in, in about 10 days from now. Yeah, in about 10 days from now. So that's how that's going. And I really don't want to spend the extra money. So like I'm saying, if you have enough fat in your body, do not gain extra weight. Don't do it. You're gonna gain weight everywhere and then you're gonna hate it. One thing I really, really need to work on, honestly, is toning my body. Like, I love it, it looks great. Now I just have to lose the fat up here and tone the rest. And I'm so scared that I'm gonna lose, I, I'm, I'm so scared that I'm gonna lose my butt that I'm, I'm honestly considering getting the arm lipo and the chin lipo. Like after I do the consultation, I might just book it. Like, fuck it, why not? And now I understand when they say, you know, when you get plastic surgery done, you start nitpicking at all the little things that you want to change about you. And uh, it's crazy crazy it's true honestly it's true honestly though i don't care at this point i've had my nose done i've had my boobs done my stomach my butt um botox and fillers like some arm lipo is not a big deal like some people are probably just gonna be like oh my god she's getting it all done that's so that's so crazy what's wrong with her but honestly like at this point i don't care I gotta admit to you guys though, sometimes I'll just sit at home and I'll smoke a joint. Weed's, uh, weed's legal in Canada, guys. So I'll just sit at home and I'll smoke a joint and I'll just think about all the surgery I've gotten done. And I literally just think about it. I'm like, holy shit. I've had my whole body done. <laughs> and then I just laugh. <laughs> Like every time I think about the fact that I've had like all this surgery done, I don't know why, but I just find it funny. Like I just start laughing. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, and I tell myself like, you, you little shit, you, you did it. Like you got all your shit done. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I just find it funny. Anyway, so that's where I'm at mentally. But like I was saying, now I feel like I have to tone my body. I got to tone it because the butt looks good but it's, um, so some people might disagree, but I think in my opinion that it's starting to look a little sloppy and that I need to tone it. I get to see myself all the time in certain angles that you guys don't. It's starting to look a little sloppy and I'm starting to like worry, like I need to tone. So I've been trying to do home workouts. Don't mind my house, it's a freaking disaster. Um, but yeah, who cares about that? Um, I'm trying to do home workouts and I've been doing pretty good. I've been on Instagram watching all like these girls that I know work out and post their workouts and talk about their fitness journey. And it's been really inspiring. Um, I talked about it on my Instagram. Some of you may have me there. If you don't follow me on my Instagram, it's at Ornella underscore Amora. I post a lot more there and you actually get to know me a little bit more. And um, yeah, that'd be great. And um, they finally opened everything up again. Yesterday was the first day that the gyms are open. So everybody's working out, but you still have to schedule your workout and there's still a certain amount of people that are allowed in the gym. So I'm gonna get started on that. I'm gonna wear my new Fabletics. I might buy some more Fabletics and do another try on haul for you guys and really get fit. Now that I got the fat in all the right places, I just wanna get fit, fit, fit and tone everything up and just look a bomb. But honestly, now I'm considering getting arm lipo because whew, my arms are fat. Let me show you what I mean. Like you see all this fat? Like I feel like a mom. I shouldn't feel like a mom. Look at all this, all this extra chicken. I feel like it's gotta go. That? That shit right there, that shit right there, that shit's gotta go. So that's all I gotta tell you in regards to my six months post-op on my BBL. 
is don't gain extra weight if you don't need to and make sure you tone your body. Like it's really, really, really important for you to tone your body after a BBL. Like a BBL is not going to be the thing that's going to get you where you want to be, you know? Like a BBL is not going to give you the perfect body, but you know what? It gets you closer to it. With my workout, along with my teeny blends, I am really on a good path of where I want to be in regards to my physical appearance. And I might be doing arm and chin lipo, so we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna do my consultation. It's gonna be over the phone and I'll let you guys know how that goes. In the meantime, let me show you my booty here. So I'm gonna take this off. So as you guys can see, my tits, huge, okay? My arms, too fat for my liking. But we're gonna take care of that. My waist, Nice and curved, love it. Um, This is what I look like when I stand up. As you can see, I got that nice hourglass. It's not perfect, but it is good enough. It is beautiful, I love it. It's come a long way from where I was. And this is what I look like from the side, from the back. I'm pretty happy with it. Honestly, I like it. Give it a little bend over, that's <laughs> Jesus Christ. As you guys can see, big boobs, big arms, because I gained the weight, but my waist is small, my hips are nice, the back looks really good. I don't know if this outfit is doing me any justice right now, but this is what it looks like. My surgeon, I like the way he did it. I think he did a wonderful job. Another thing that I have to mention to you guys that's really bothering me, um, I have a lot of excess skin on my stomach that I'm really not liking. I can't really show you right now because I'm wearing a one piece, but it literally looks, I don't know if you can tell, like this is all like loose skin and I can hide it when I stretch my stomach sometimes. But for the most part, like when I'm sitting and stuff, it kind of like sits over my pants and I'm not really happy about that. So I'm trying to see, and I know that the surgeon can't do anything about it cause like all he did was liposuction. If your skin doesn't snap back, then that's on you. And it's not enough skin where it would be worth me going and getting a tummy tuck. I don't think that would be a good candidate for that either. So I'm trying to see if there's like any uh, skin tightening treatments. If you guys know of any awesome skin tightening treatments that you recommend, like just let me know down below in the comments and I'll go try it out. I will, I will go try it out and I'll vlog it for you guys and you guys can be a part of that. So yeah, I'm going to be looking to get some skin tightening treatments as well as some tattoo removal and I'm gonna get my body where I want it to be. So yeah, that's basically the update that I had to give you guys today. Um, I can't think of anything else that I need to say. I didn't really write it down. I never really write down things that I need to say unless it's like a list. But other than that, I just kind of like talk on my videos and hope that I get everything that I wanted to get in there. If you guys like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so that way you don't miss a thing. And thank you guys so much for listening to me um, bitch about what I like and don't like. Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. Let me try this over, hold on. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I have so much love and appreciation for you. And don't forget to be extra nice to yourself today because I haven't been you should be. <laughs> Bye guys.